Testing one two. Welcome to RTV. This is real time video. Blah. That's more on my face. So this is RTV. This is the big C, and we are making history. Yeah. <laughs> Little skinny binny, skinny winny, little chinos. I never really wear skinny jeans, but uh, I was out in Hollister recently and I bought two pairs of these chinos and a pair of jeans, and they're actually quite comfortable, like a good bit of stretching, you know. But anyway, here, going to my one of my favourite places in the world to eat food. Get out of my face, bruh! And that is the best burgers in the country. Buns in, buns in. So we're going to Bunsen, we're going for the double-double. That is two double hamburgers or two double cheeseburgers. That might not sound the healthiest, but this is good quality Irish grass-fed beef. I don't know if it's grass-fed, but it's good beef. I watched a video on their page before, so I had to make the buns and, you know, the quality of the meat and stuff, but I won't get chips or anything or fizzy drinks, just two burgers, plenty of protein for a post-workout. Um, and I obviously tapered down my calories for the day, like you can fit stuff like this. Like I suppose the style of diet I'm doing, it would be flexible dieting, or if it fits your macros, even though I'm not really counting my macros. But, the idea behind that is you eat well 80 to 90% of the time, you get your micronutrients in, you get your fiber in, your fruits, your vegetables every day. And, sorry. So, after that then, so I walked past two people, that was quite awkward. But, then it allows you to have stuff like a double cheeseburger and whatnot. So today, I probably shouldn't even be sharing this, but I know I kind of had excess calories at the weekend, but the bigger picture is the calories over the week when you're losing the weight. So I really tapered down my calories today and yesterday. I did my usual morning fast till lunchtime. And then yesterday, I had my usual fruit bowl. Um, and today I didn't even have the fruit bowl. I went home to make a video you'll see on my channel, it's RTV, real time video. I was trying to do them on the day and get them up on the day, you know, kind of Q&A type style videos. But anyway, then I just had blueberries and the protein bar for lunch today. And now I'm having this, because there's gonna be a lot of calories in this, you know. Oh, where's Megsy Begsy? Oh, I see her. Um, and then yesterday, after the gym, I did a protein shake, with glutamine, a protein bar, and blueberries. Lots of blueberries, fruit, nuts, seeds, all healthy stuff, keeps me full, etc, etc. Here's Megsy Begsy. I'm in a rush, my friends are already there, I gotta go. Brooklyn's best burger. Back where we started actually, one of the first vlogs was down around here. And uh, it's two months since then, so time goes fast. See you in there. How's it going, man? Let me turn on the lights. So I always say the date, so when I'm editing, I know where to put the goddamn videos. And today is Friday. Thank the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm. Um, the 8th of July. It's actually my brother's birthday today. So if you know my brother, I hope you wish them happy birthday. <laughs> anyway, I'm up there editing a video. Went okay, um, flying through and now I'm gonna go to the gym, weigh-in day tomorrow, and I just wanna take a bit of stuff before I go to the gym. Haven't seen the food press in a while, which really is just sauces and condiments and supplements and more random stuff, cause I ain't been cooking too much lately. 
But today, we're going to take some BCAAs. I always bring those to the gym. We're not going to take caffeine. I'm trying to cut down on that. We'll take maybe a bit of this. And maybe a bit of these. I'm just using them up, but I do have a pre-workout. Creo. Creo. It's actually a cool name. Yeah, so on the creatine, the strength, performance, and recovery. Pure creatine monohydrate. Our body first nutrition Snapchat today. The gentleman, I think he's in Clontarf. I met him recently, but he went through the benefits of creatine. And if I recall, the, the summary of that Snapchat was creatine monohydrate is the purest form. And then the creatine helps with your energy levels and also with performance in the gym for getting those extra reps out. And about five grams daily, it does not need to be loaded. That's pretty much all I can remember. And I'm, it's quite late, but I'm out of the video later, so I don't mind. So I might take a small bit of FKD as well. So that's it. I'm uh, wearing this belt. Actually, it's on belt two, but I can get all the way down to six now. And in February, I couldn't close it on this one. Isn't that great? Anyway, I'll get you guys later. I don't know what that accent was, but this is what it is. It's a good Friday buzz around the place. It's nice to see it. I've had to chug almost 2.2 litres of my pre-trainer slash intro workout because I'm after cracking the bloody bottle somehow. It's a great bottle, 2.2 litres, but my heart's broken now with this, so. Gonna head up here, do the usual back work out, nothing you haven't seen before. I will change it up soon, I'm thinking of doing a Wendler 531. And that's pretty much it, so we'll go up here, we might get some footage, we might not. I've also can't find my bloody car for the gym, I've lost two wallets in the last week, I'm hoping they're not actually lost. That on top of my car being clamped twice and my bike being stolen, it's been a bad run for CNF, but uh, what can you do? Life goes on. <laughs> Listen to the sound this thing makes. I feel bad doing it, but I have to do it. Hello everybody, I've run out of music, I've run out of time and I want to go for a burrito with my friends from work so I'm going to do a little quick commentary on this workout. I hope you enjoyed it so far, I'm trying to step my editing skills up. This is a typical back workout for me. I always start with deadlifts, mix that shit up, go sumo, stiff-legged, go standard. 
I don't always do rack pulls, but they're a nice exercise to do because I didn't go too crazy on the sumo deads. I did rack pulls. I couldn't really do heavy deads and then do rack pulls. So that's what I did here. What else can I say? There's some nice clips on the bar. You can pick those up at DA Fitness. They cost me 25 quid because the other things wreck my head. All my deadlift tips I've already given. You can see me going ham here. That's putting in work. That's one of the key things I always say about going to the gym. You gotta put in work. I'll be training some legs later on, hopefully. My hamstring was injured last week, so we'll see how that goes. I always like to stretch my lats out before I do the deads, kind of pin my shoulders back and just kind of stretch out the back. Always keep the back straight, driving up through your heels, using your bum to drive forward, so you're getting that nice arch. I'm pretty happy looking back at my technique here. Um, belts are optional, some people will tell you they're good, some people will tell you they're not, some people will tell you they like using them and some people will tell you they don't like using them, so it's all about yourself and what you want. Um, while we're on the topic of you, it's important to believe in yourself. While we're saying the term believe in yourself, don't forget to be yourself. <laughs> Sorry guys, a little bit hyper, a little bit excited. Um, Always, 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 always grateful and thankful for anyone who's watching my videos. I really, really mean that. I, I appreciate it so much. This is what I love to do. It's my passion. Obviously, it takes up a lot of time. It's half seven now, and I got finished work at five o'clock, so this is taking me probably two to three hours. Um, just please like, comment. Even if you don't want to comment on a video, just send me a comment or a message to let me know that you watched it or you liked it or you didn't like it or blah, blah, blah. blah. Pat Dively even shared one of my posts today. One of my biggest heroes shared my posts. So so uh, anything you can do at all guys, um, thanks for watching, this video is going to end in about 6 seconds, what else can I say, but have a good evening, be grateful, thanks for the support, I love you all, and I'm going to go for a lovely burrito, Mwah.